Many chemical reactions can be described as reduction oxidation reactions. Reduction cannot happen without oxidation. Oxidation cannot happen without reduction. That is, one molecule or atom uh, is reduced and another molecule or atom in the same reaction must be oxidized. There's two ways to describe reduction and oxidation. One way is in terms of electrons being transferred from one atom to another. When an atom is reduced, it's said to have gained electrons. When an atom is oxidized, it's said to have lost electrons. Here is an example of a reduction oxidation reaction where electrons are transferred between two atoms. In this case, the reaction starts with elemental zinc and copper 2 plus. Copper is in the plus 2 state because it lacks two electrons. As the reaction proceeds, the zinc loses two electrons and the copper gains the two electrons from the zinc. The product of the reaction are zinc 2 plus because now the zinc has lost two electrons and copper 0 because the two negative charges or the two electrons were added to the copper that was in the plus two state therefore making copper in the neutral state or the zero state. Ordinary batteries are great examples of reduction oxidation reactions. The ions and molecules are physically separated and the electrons are transferred to the other atom via a wire but before they get to the other atom the electrons are passed through some electrical device, a radio, a light bulb. Here is an example where we're asked to determine which atom is oxidized and which is reduced. Magnesium neutral reacts with molecular iodine to form ionic magnesium and ionic iodide. Because the magnesium becomes magnesium 2 plus, that would indicate that the magnesium atom lost two electrons in order to become in the positive two state. Therefore, I2 must gain the electrons, forming two iodide ions. The other description of reduction and oxidation has to do with tracking the hydrogen and oxygen atoms in molecules. If a molecule was reduced, it gained hydrogen atoms or lost oxygen atoms. If a molecule was oxidized, it gained oxygen atoms or lost hydrogen atoms. The second description of reduction and oxidation in terms of hydrogen and oxygen is very useful for those molecules that are hydrocarbons. Here is an example of a reduction oxidation reaction that involves a hydrocarbon, in this case CH4. CH4 is oxidized to carbon dioxide. We can see that the CH4 gains two oxygens to become CO2. Therefore, the oxygen must have been reduced, and it is reduced to water. And we can see the gain of the two hydrogens and, in fact, the loss of one oxygen. In this example, the hydrocarbon ethanol reacts with oxygen to form CO2 and water. Ethanol is oxidized. We can see the gain of oxygen and also the loss of hydrogen in that molecule. And oxygen, again, is reduced to water.